how to add Google reviews on Canva website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can add the Google reviews within your Canva website. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go to canva.com, sign into your account and then you need to create a website. When you finish creating the website, all you have to do is to select that website. I'm going to select my website that I have created. Let's search here for a website. And then we are going to add the widget of Google reviews. Here we have the website that we have created on Canva. The first thing that we need to do is to click on edit website and it will open up the web editor. Here we have the web editor of Canva. It is very simple. You can add some pages, for example, like that. You can add copy the style of the uh, or the background style of the website. I'm going to add another page right here. Go here to this site called Elfsite. Visit Elfsite.com and you can see here this is the platform. You are going to create a widget without coding. And at the end of the step of creating that widget, we are going to receive a code and then we are going to put it on Canva. Now, when you go to your site, you have here widgets. You can see that there is a lot of categories right here. We are simply going to select the reviews. On the reviews, we have a lot of options, but the most convenient options for us is the Google reviews. I'm going to click on it. And here we have the responsive Google reviews widget for website. Here we have the widget. We have the uh, template that we are going to start collecting or making the reviews on. We have the carousel widget, the badge, the grid, and the loading badge, and a lot of options. For example, here we have the slider, the carousel, or simple carousel, and etc. Let's go ahead with this carousel widget, which contains the overall Google rating with the stars and the reviews, and some of the reviews right here. It is uh, appearing as a slider. Continue with this template. Here we have to add the source or the uh, Google business that you have, for example, then you can go ahead and add it. In my case, I don't have a Google business, so I will go ahead with this standard template. Let's go here to layout. We have the option to customize the layout. We have the carousel, the grid, the list, the masonry, and the batches. I'm going right here with the grid. Let's go ahead with this grid. Simply, I am going to click on review. Here we have the reviews style. This is the reviews, and we have the styles right here. You have three types. You have the logo or the person first with the uh, check mark. We have the stars rating with with the description and at the end we have the uh, person commenting and we have also a little uh, of a bubble conversation getting that person to talk i'm going to the standard one because it is looking a little bit nice here we have the review source style you can go ahead and put it like that this and you will see the real changement or the life changement right here now I am going to put it like that. This is this uh, most convenient for me. Now let's go to the styles. You can go ahead and customize the style of that widget from the color scheme. You can switch to dark or light. We have the accent color. Here we have the accent. It will change the button color and also the check mark colors and also this type of text. Read more. You can go ahead and put it here, yellow, green, and etc. You can go ahead and customize the elements such as background, widget title, header, rating. You can go ahead and, and put the color of the ratings. Here we have uh, the stars colored with yellow. You can go ahead and put this blue and click on done. For the styles also, we have the load more buttons right here you can go ahead and put uh, the style as outline or filled it's up to you you can add so also some custom css here on the settings you can you can go ahead and put the language we have here a lot of languages and you can also edit the text for the ratings for the reviews and etc 
Here we have the option to enable the external links or open the links right there on a new tab. Here we have the rating format. You can go ahead and put this. And also you have a custom JSON code or JavaScript. When you finish setting up everything in this widget, click on add to website for free. Here it will go and create that widget for you, get that base. And also you are going to see here the, uh, the options. Click on close. Then we can see the untitled Google reviews. This is the grid. When you want to install it, all you have to do is to click on install. And here we have the code that we have on, or that you can go ahead and embed it to your website. We have here the share link. You can go ahead and uh, the direct, li direct link to the um, website or the, uh, as you can see, widget. You can go ahead and copy the link or get the embed code directly. Let's go ahead and copy and paste that code to our Canva website. Click on copy link again, go to the website. We have here the page that contains our uh, information. I'm going to add it here. For example, I will click on that page. Simply, I'm going to press control V or paste and it will show up here the ratings and also it will show up the uh, widget. You can go ahead and make this widget bigger or sm smaller. It is up to you like that, for example, like this. You can go ahead and put only this part, drag and drop it. And here we have it. You can go and uh, add some more options or some more pages and then you can go ahead and uh, make this a little bit smaller. You can go, if you don't like this type of, um, of this widget, you can go ahead and make the list or the slider. It will be looking better. But here we have the code right here. It is customizable on L site. Of course, you can go ahead and click on edit and then you are going to set up the layout or the review as much as you like, and it will be updating the code by itself. Here we have it. That was all for today's video. When you finish everything right here, don't forget to click on publish website, republish on the website, and we will wait for the uh, embed code or the widget to be installed on our website and we will see it live. I'm, go I'm going to click on view website. Here we have the website style, drop down a little bit, and here we have the Google rating. Here is it. When you click on something, for example, Steve, it will take you to the uh, Steve or the link that is inserted underneath Steve. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and see you soon on the next one.